Welcome to the Angels in Politics broadcast. Of course, you know me as uh, the white collar goon, collar goon, um, or just gooner. Um, but we know that is the creative and artistic manifestation of Angels in Politics, which is the philosophy expressed and felt through philanthropy. Um, here, we have our grandchildren, and they have a lot to say, um, of course, as you do, as everybody does, and um, I guess they just want to give us a message. Well, the floor is yours. Uh, yeah, 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 well, thank you, thank you, um, this is my grandson. Um, yeah, I guess where I'm at right now is just radical transparency. Um, for us in the youth, we see that the machines, the, the, the robots, the the artificial intelligence is what you're calling it, but really we're just going to call it like seamless uh, technology. It's going to be a, a sense of cognitive ease, but it's going to be a universal angelic seamlessness with uh, technology because it's going to be at our, not even at our fingertips, it's going to be uh, at our breath, it's, it's, it's at our breath right now. What we speak comes into existence, what we feel comes into existence, um, everything is, you know, just it's just chips, uh, semiconductors in which our personalities are, um, it's just going to be semiconductors and it's going to be permeated and proliferated throughout the the you one your ecosystem your environment and everything is going to be linked and we're all going to be connected and that's going to be for unfortunately the good and the bad because there will be no hiding there is no hiding there is only openness there is only transparency and um for some people that is a damaging thing for others that is an uplifting and a freeing thing because uh now we know. Uh, now we know what's going on. Now we know what's in the dark will be to the light. And if you were dark and if you were seen as the dark, um, your time is coming. And well, your time is now and everything will be in the light. So be ready for that. Uh, or be prepared, I will say. Um, um, uh, get your preparations. Get the infrastructure in place for uh, for your vessel, prepare the vessel, expand your vessel, uh, cognitively, mentally, uh, socially, uh, emotionally, but even physically more so. Expand the vessel so you can receive. Please be be aware of receiving the gift, receiving the technology. We will be synthesized. Um, this is where I am with, uh, right now. Thank you, grandson. As far as my granddaughter, uh, I'll tell, you, uh, tell them kind of how you feel about this. Um... Mm. Well, hi, I, I'm glad you asked me. Um, us as girls, like, we really have taken advantage of the technology. Like, right now, all of our worries have been fulfilled. Honestly, well, to the point, well, it's always been like that, um, depending on who we've aligned ourselves with. Um, life is about meaningful relationships. Life is about meaningful relationships. Life is about cultivating and, sus and sustaining and evaluating and interpreting and knowing when to leave and discard meaningful relationships. And there's never going to be a full discard. You're just exchanging. It's just like a, a ship that is coming at sea. You exchange information. Maybe you exchange uh, goods, trade goods. Mm. Maybe you are exchanging uh, pearls of wisdom, pearls of knowledge, um, wisdom. Oh, my gosh. Uh, experiences, life experiences. We are learning. We are cultivating. We are. This is what girls do. This is what we like to do. We're not just talking we're not just speaking we're not just chatting away you know at least not the girls that i know of at least not the girls of the future at least not my grandchildren uh right now what are, what are we doing we're, we're we're speaking about how we can synthesize we're speaking about how we synchronize with our technology and really everything that we want just comes into fruition it's just it's just it's just drops to us it's not just drones i mean we don't have to drive anywhere we don't have to drive anywhere we don't have to cook anymore we don't have to clean anymore we don't even have to go to school we have our own money that's being uh into our account we have digital money there's no need we don't even carry who carries bills anymore this is this is what we do 
We don't even carry this anymore. Why would I cook? Why would I clean? I don't need to make beverages. I don't need to know how to fold clothes. The drawer does that. The machine does that. The robot does that. The bot does that. The We have a name for him. That's what the grandchildren, we have names. His name is Bob. His name is Tom. His name is Gary. We don't even, honestly, we have, why, why would I give a, a massage to a boy? The machine does it. Honestly, boys don't even want to date us anymore because they date the machine. They have a virtual reality headset. They have a, they have a bot that, that comes to the house and massages them. They, they have a bot that, that, that cooks their meals and, 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 and does all these things for them. Like, why, why do they need a relationship? They, they don't even have a relationship anymore. Like, why would they need us? So right now, we're just living in our own world. Right now, we're just realizing that our problems have been uh, fixed in the macro scale. But on the day-to-day, -day, we have to evaluate who we are. And most people in our generation are struggling with finding out that they have a personality and they have to cultivate that personality and they have to work on that personality. And life is about meaningful relationships. But the first relationship that is the most meaningful to anybody is yourself. So invest in yourself. Well, grandchildren, you're you're ahead of the game because that's all alignment is. That's all, you know, aligning yourself with your personality and your purpose and well, personality with your passion and your passion with an action and being able to position yourself and, and pivot and being flexible to uh, receiving it, prepare your vessel. Well, that's what your grandson is saying. That's what the granddaughter is saying. Well, well, you do come from the same stock and I'm glad that you have seen that. And it's, and it's kind of interesting because even though you are of the future, there are people right now who are still struggling with the decisions of every day. And they're not aware that... Um, Technology is rapidly expanding and it's moving so fast that they won't even have the option to even discuss their issues because they will be fixed. They will be fixed. They will be fixed. Um, but then they're left with time for themselves. They're left with time for their relationships. They're left with time with their families, time with their uh, significant others, time with their sphere of influence. And if they aren't comfortable with the decisions they've made, oh my gosh, they will not be too happy. They will not be too happy. So, grandchildren, what is a, a going away a message you should give to them? Uh, well, I will say you better really pay close attention to who you open yourself to, who you spend your time with. Why? Because that could be a lifelong, devastating uh, uh, decision that you make. What about you? Um, yeah, for sure. Like, girls, like, don't forget you have the upper hand you're you're smart you're competent of course we know this you're intelligent we know this guys want you but they're lazy so rise above them start your business keep connecting with girls we don't have to continue competing but competition is good embrace the competition love the competition love your fellow girl um but of course understand be who you are invest in yourself and radically um radically just just allow your ego and your pride to dissolve but the only way you can do that is to accept humility and continue praying um thank you for saying that thank you for saying that so we'll end on that note prayer meditation alignment continue uh, cultivating read the flesh read the word interpret the word evaluate that um but be who you are integrate the shadow uh, when you know the shadow you know the goon and if you know the goon then you know what i'm talking about